Hi, my name is Deb Hetherington. I currently serve on the Church of New Ministry team here at St. Andrew. Others of you may know me as the lady who goes on a lot of trips to Haiti and uh, loves to speak Creole and visit my friends which is not an opportunity right now. And Church Anew, we're not having in-person events right now. Uh, but when Pastor Peter asked me to share an experience of how I've heard God calling, uh, especially during COVID uh, times, I wanted to share a story of how I have rediscovered some gifts that I used to use a lot here at St. Andrew when kids and parents called me Mrs. Deb. Uh, both for Sunday school and vacation Bible school and the Christmas program and Starlight Singers, and how some of those gifts were set aside or put in a box and in, in storage, so to speak, and how I've been able to rediscover them and take them out and unpack them to share them again since uh, the first week of April. When we knew we were going to be heading home uh, from church the end of March, and our ministries would need to change, including ministries for children. I wondered what would St. Andrew do for babies to three-year-olds, those earliest, youngest children of God and their caregivers and families. And I, something called from deep inside me to say, Mrs. Deb, other people are doing ministry on Zoom. How about you do ministry on Zoom for babies and toddlers again? So with the gracious approval of Pastor Lilliard and the welcome of Arlene Flancher, we did just that. We started the first week of April. Arlene and I uh, spent 30 minutes and we invited everybody with kids zero to three and both in Eden Prairie and friends afar who we knew to join us to sing songs and dance and move and read stories, just having fun together and affirming God's love for us. And this gift, these gifts that I used to have came back out and I was filled with joy every time I saw a kid, a kid's face, on the Zoom screen in all the little windows. And we had grandma with her granddaughter. We had a nanny with a toddler. We had kids in high chairs. We had dads sitting on the floor with their preschoolers. We had big brothers and sisters helping little brothers and sisters. I met a lot of new friends. And I also got to spend time with friends who I had met many years ago who were now parents of young children. And what I want to encourage all of you to do is think about what gifts might you have that you've used in the past, but you're now at a different stage of life or your schedule's changed or life has just changed and you've put some of those things aside and yet they're still there and they're ready to be rediscovered and reused and shared. Listen to how God is calling you to use some of those gifts. And usually the ones that are the easiest for you, but really hard for other people, are the true gifts, the natural gifts. So dust them off, take them out, find a way to use them again. Mrs. Deb, as Mrs. Deb, I would always end music art and classes and starlight singers with a song holding my Bula Bear, who was my partner for music classes. And it's always good to hug an animal or a person, but I haven't been able to hug a lot of people lately. So Bula Bear is here. And I'd always end with the song, God is so good after blessing each child to say, you are a child of God and a gift from God, and then encouraging them to bless the person next to them. You are a child of God and a gift from God. So welcome and sing along. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God so good to me. 
and God's good to all of you. God bless you. God loves you.